Yo, what's up guys? Thank you guys for all the support and for watching my videos. If you want to get the most out of my channel, here are a few quick tips for you to be able to get the most and learn as quickly as possible. So first up, we have our Mike's Brush uh, name here. You could click on this and it takes you directly to my channel. You'll have access to all my videos. You'll have a backlog of you know over a hundred videos that you could go through, watch, and learn that way. There's a very helpful how to airbrush series in there um, that I would recommend. A lot of people ask uh, what stuff I use. Uh, clicking on that description button will open up this that shows the links to a lot of the most commonly asked questions. Uh, using these links helps the channel bring you more videos, better quality videos. Um, as always, I would recommend you stay subscribed uh, to keep up to date on the latest videos. And if you really, really enjoy the videos, you can consider joining uh, so you get these cool emojis in the chat, um, as well as access to some other features. Clicking that join button will explain everything for you. And yeah, like I said, you can click here, it takes you over to my channel. You can see a backlog of all our videos. Click on this videos tab. It shows you all, you know, everything, all the videos from the past. Um, I highly recommend it. Like I said, there's a hot airburst series up in there. And in the community tab is how I keep track or keep in touch with uh, most of the members. Let everybody know what's kind of happening, what's going to go on. And yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. We could get back to the video. Good luck to y'all. What's up, everybody? Yo, yo, yo. Bienvenidos. Yo, so just again, the link to the drawing. If you want to do this at home, this is what this is all for. If you're a beginner and you're looking to get some results without, you know, you're getting discouraged and, and you know, know where to start. Here's a good video where you don't have to have a lot of skills. Um, you know, as long as you could do some basic shading and stuff, you could come out with a nice looking design and I could show you how to use masking to achieve, you know, some, some cool effects and a nice picture. Uh, what's up, James Melton? As always, if you're in the chat, I'm watching the chat. What's up, Easy Airbrush? Um, and yeah, welcome everybody. So again, the link is down in the description so you can do this at home. It's a quick and easy tutorial. It, sh it should only take you maybe less than an hour. I'm going to run through it in about 20 minutes. Um, and yeah, so now I'm going to go through it in Spanish. Uh, so, bienvenidos todos. Uh, igual les uh, aviso, les uh, noticio, como quieran decir, uh, el link para el dibujo está abajo en la descripción, abajo del de este video. Si abren la descripción, ahí hay un link para el dibujo. Dice drawing link. Ahí pueden hacerle clic y les va a salir el dibujo, lo pueden bajar, lo pueden usar gratis. Nomás lo he, baja, lo, lo he trazado en un papel y es lo, la manera, lo he recortado con una navaja y así vamos a empezar. So all I've done here is traced out my design on a piece of paper. And it's heavy stock, obviously, I'm not going to use like a regular piece of paper. But, uh... I got a piece of paper nonetheless, and uh, I've traced out the design, the drawing onto this piece of paper. And what we're going to do here is just cut it out, right? I cut it out with a blade. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, I've shown you guys lots of times. You know, use a blade. So estas son las navajas. Use one of these blades. And we're going to start off by just removing all the outside, the outer edge here. Ugh. Oh, I forgot to cut that a little better. There you go. Put the stick that back on there. So no más vamos a quitar toda esta parte de afuera que no vamos a necesitar eso. So uh, just take out all the parts that are like from the outer, the background, right? If you didn't, we're gonna work on the background first, right? So just take that whole background out. So just, vamos a quitar toda la parte de atrás. También he quitado estas partes. So I've also taken off these pieces. I did that preemptively just so I wouldn't do like I did with this one and send it all over the place. Now I won't go back on watch. Anyway. And for those wondering, I've stuck this on using some Permatex spray adhesive. So para los que se están preguntando, lo he pegado con un poco de Permatex adhesivo en aerosol. 
¿verdad? Si miran también abajo en los links, también tengo un aerosol uh, que les recomiendo, que es muy fácil. <coughs> so, here we have it all cut out. It's a simple thing. Now, if you just want to go over the edge with the shadow, that's fine. I'm going to go over here in my stencil little box here. And I'm going to get this bricks kit, right? And I'm just going to lay that like that. So... Si quieren nomás darle con un poco de negro sombreado alrededor, está bien. Pero yo voy a tomar una plantilla de estos uh, bloques, pues, y le voy a dar con la plantilla. So, hoy vamos a estar usando pintura de Createx. So, I'm, we're going to be using Createx Paint today and Createx Reducer. And we're just going to stick to one color today just to keep it simple and, you know, keep it cost down, I guess. So, if you're looking uh, up, you know, practice, you know, you could use, uh, you could just use a little bit of create uh, reducer with a little bit of paint and you'll get a nice cut. We're reducing about half and half. So estoy reducido como mitad pintura, mitad de reducidor, right? So I've reduced the paint about half and half. The airbrush we're using today is the Iwata Revolution HPCR. Um, it's a beginner airbrush. According to them, it's a really nice quality airbrush. Um, but again, we're just going to start off with the background. So all I'm going to do is hit this stencil right here. And for those wondering, I sell this Bricks stencil on my website, mikesbrush.com, just like you see it on the screen. We're just going to hit that in nice and quick. So nomás le voy a dar con la plantilla. Y para esos que están preguntando, pues, ¿dónde consigo la plantilla? Estas plantillas de estos bloques yo las vendo. Pero ustedes también se pueden recortar su propia plantilla. You can also just make your own stencil, too. You don't have to buy my stencil. It's not necessary. And the background is just optional, too. You don't have to really, you know, that's all we're going to do to the background right there. So, yeah, no más lo vamos a dar así. Uh, so, for those of you that don't have the, st the stencil or something to use in the back, uh, we're just going to hit the edge with the black. What up, Justice? The Skull Squad's in the house. Show them what's up, bro. Show them what's up. Um, so we're just going to hit all the edge with a light shadow all the way around, probably twice. Uh, one's kind of far away and one a little closer so that we get the edge nice and dark. So le voy a dar sombreado por toda la orilla a la, a la plantilla. Y luego le voy a dar una sombreada un poco más cerca, o un, un sombreado más lejos y un sombreado más cercano uh, para darle a la orilla que esté, que esté so, uh, oscura, pues que la orilla salga bien, bien oscura. So, una sombreado de lejos. Okay, so, just going to do a shadow from far. It looks like I lost my eye. My eye is missing, but that's alright. And then we're going to do a shadow a little bit closer. So, un sombreado un poquito más cerca, ¿no? It's just simple, nice and easy. You don't have to go too crazy. Bam. Simple. Now, the reason I chose this specific drawing for this exercise is because it has layers, right? So it has, like, it goes back and forth between the layers. So you have stuff that's in the back, and then you have stuff that's kind of in front, and you have stuff that's going between, you know, right? So, like, the snake is wrapping around the blade. Um, so I wanted to show you guys a good and easy way that you could get uh, the effect that you need, you know, using a quick little stencil. Uh, so first off, this piece right here, this little very end of the tail, we could go ahead and just take that right off. We won't need that. And we could just shade in off of the side there. And since that's the end of the tail, that's, that's you know, probably more than enough right there. And then all we're going to do is lift up the side. We're not going to completely take it off, 
We could even just like bend it, right? Because it's just paper. And we're just gonna hit over that edge. You don't have to do it too hard. And if you wanna bring it out a little bit like this, that's fine. Maybe let's get you guys some closer so you guys can see. Right, so that's what we've done here. We're just gonna put it back down. Then what we're gonna do is you see this? We're gonna lift it up. Hopefully if I cut it right, it'll lift up. Okay, there you go. Lift that up. Not the whole way, just a little bit, right? We're gonna hit that. Bam. That's all you need. Just one quick little hit. Same thing on this side, we're going to lift the top of the blade, right, lift that like that. So no más estoy levantando esas partes y luego levanté esa y es igual aquí y no hay que levantarla toda, no más una parte y luego ligeramente un sombrero. Ah, yeah. Así no más. Sombreado ligero y luego lo podemos bajar, lo pegamos otra vez y luego Salimos con esta parte de acá. So then we could take off. Yeah, I think we could completely take this piece off. Right? And we're just going to go ahead and hit the roundness of the snake first. Right, so primero le vamos a dar sombreado a la víbora como que está redonda. Right? We're just going to hit the edge. Just trying to get the snakes around us, and then we're just going to hit the edge of the blade going up. Bam. Ah, toma la orillita y la sombreado a la víbora. Igual aquí a este lado. Vamos a levantar aquí esta parte. Ah, pero no la vamos a quitar. Nomás la vamos a levantar hasta aquí. So we're just going to lift that one up to there. And then we're going to shade it just a little bit up. Same thing here. And you want to be sure that you don't run your shading all the way up to here because then you end up with a hard line. And I think I just did that there. But it's not so bad. So we'll fix that. But it's okay. That's just a good reminder to show you guys that. Um, same thing here. right? So we're going to bring the blade down. Right. Just hit that edge. Boom. Back. Then we can lift up the top. So, igual aquí esta parte de aquí. And just shade that edge. Boom. Put that back down. Then I think we could just completely take that off. And we could take this. Podemos quitar esta parte y esta parte de aquí de la víbora. Podemos quitar esto. Podemos quitar esto. So we can take all those off. And already you can see that we're getting that wrap around, right? Effect. So now I can bring you guys up a little bit. Right? So then all we're gonna do is hit the roundness of the snake going through the stencil, right? So we want to hit that shadow going through all the way. Same thing here, and then hit the edge of the blade. Down. Then we could remove, or not remove, but we could lift up this piece. So ya que nomás aquí levantamos esta parte. Ya como pueden ver, ya quitando los pedazos ya se empieza a ver como que está dando alrededor de la navaja. Hit the roundness of the snake, then we hit that edge. Bam. Right? Then we could take this piece of the blade off, and we could hit shadows going down. Right, just hit that. Bam. And then we could take this piece off. Ya podemos quitar esta parte de aquí. Oh, man, I need to cut. I haven't cut this. There we go. Then we 
I could just shade that going up. I like to pull all the way through, all the way up. Get the edge of the snake. Si ya no me damos a esa parte como que está redonda hasta arriba, le damos a la a orilla de la víbora. ¿Ah? Y luego ya aquí es un proceso un poquito más complicado. Primero quitamos este parte de atrás. So here's a little more complicated process. You got to be a little more precise. All right, we're going to remove that back piece there. We're just going to hit that real soft. Boom. One little quick shadow. That's all it takes. Right. Then we're going to take off this mouth and tongue piece. And we can just completely take it off. And we're going to put shading coming in from the back. Bam. Right. Then we could take this last piece, the top of the mouth off, and hit that shadow real soft. Boom. Nice. Now, if you're like me and your eye fell off, you're probably going to have to come back in with some white and uh, repaint that white. Now, it's not completely black, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, make my line for my eye here and hit the edges. No, you just want to shade it in. You would just take off the eye and shade it in. So if I, a mí se me perdió esa parte del aire, del, del ojo. <coughs> se me salió, no sé ni cuándo, pero nomás le tienen que dar sombreado y darle la línea del ojo quitando esa partecita. Y ya pueden quitar lo demás de la víbora. Y bam. Y luego aquí. Ya nomás le siguen el sombreado. Right, so here, from, you can just follow your edge of your snake, your shading. Right, make it look round. And there you go. Give me one sec, my phone's ringing. All right, so pro tip, right? So you want to have this nice straight blade and you could take a straight edge of a paper here. So aquí está uh, un pro tip ¿verdad? para un consejo rápido. Si tienen esta parte de aquí y quieren meterle un sombreado, ¿verdad? You can leave a message, person. And I'm going to just add a shading. Going this way. Right. So no le voy a dar sombreado aquí. So I'm just going to hit that shadow. Going both ways. Boom, right? And then we have, well, actually, that looks pretty good. And then we could just take this piece off. And it looks like we got a piece of paper stuck on there. And there you go. Now you can just shade in this piece. Yeah, no, I'll on some the other key. There you go. Y aquí le podemos dar líneas a nuestra man, man, ¿cómo se dice esta? Mataster la mano. So we're just giving some shadow lines to our wrap on our handle here. All right, look at that. It's nice. There you go. Get you guys a nice front look. From here again. You could take your time detailing it out, whether you feel, you know, capable enough to do it with uh, freehand, you know, skills. You know, if you want to go in there, let's start adding in the detail. And this is hard to do from behind the camera, but <laughs> I'm trying. I'm like really wobbly at this distance. But you know, you could here you could take your time, really detail it out. 
Entonces ya de ahí ya ustedes ya le pueden sacar más detalle al, al dibujo. Darle más sombreado, más, más finos. ¿eh? So here you can add details, more fine details, all your freehand stuff, or if you want to come in with a brush and do all that. But hopefully this helps you guys out. I know usually people see me do that layer stuff and they find that pretty interesting. So. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. I hope that helps some of you guys out. As always, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you hit like the video, make sure you click that like button. Subscribe if you like videos like this. Uh, maybe consider becoming a part of the Skull Squad like my name, just my man Justice over here. Uh, you can go down below the video, there's a join button and different options down to as low as two dollars it all helps the channel out bring you more videos like this thank you guys all for all the sports and let's see there you go as always thank you guys for all the support gracias a todos por ver ojalá este video les ayude como siempre gracias por ver denle un me gusta si les gustó el video si quieren ver más videos como este, uh, me estén seguros de suscribirse al canal. Si quieren ayudar al canal, si ustedes creen que este canal les trae valor, también pueden hacerse miembros de la Calavera Squad, como mi hombre, ¿cómo es? Uh, aquí, Justice, en el chat que tiene esa calaverita. Uh, esas son especiales para los miembros del canal. So, ahí póngale, en, hágase miembros. Y sí. Gracias por todo el apoyo y nos vemos en, en el video que sigue. So, there you go, guys. Thank you guys all for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Later. Yo, what's up, guys? Thank you guys for all the support and for watching my videos. If you want to get the most out of my channel, here are a few quick tips for you to be able to get the most and learn as quickly as possible. So, first up, we have our Mike's brush uh, name here. You could click on this and it takes you directly to my channel. You'll have access to all my videos. You'll have a backlog of, you know, over a hundred videos that you could go through, watch, and learn that way. There's a very helpful how to airbrush series in there um, that I would recommend. A lot of people ask uh, what stuff I use. Uh, clicking on that description button will open up this that shows the links to a lot of the most commonly asked questions. Uh, using these links helps the channel bring you more videos, better quality videos. Um, as always, I would recommend you stay subscribed uh, to keep up to date on the latest videos. And if you really, really enjoy the videos, you can consider joining uh, so you get these cool emojis in the chat, um, as well as access to some other features. Clicking that join button will explain everything for you. And yeah, like I said, you can click here, it takes you over to my channel. You could see a backlog of all our videos. Click on this videos tab. It shows you all, you know, everything, all the videos from the past. Um, I highly recommend it. Like I said, there's a how to airbrush series up in there. And in the community tab is how I keep track or keep in touch with uh, most of the members. Let everybody know what's kind of happening, what's going to go on. And yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. We could get back to the video. Good luck to y'all.